Well, here I am in the shadows of Fox Studios right there. Die Hard building right there. But right behind me, down there, is what was known as Michael Jackson's hideout. Century City Condo, Unit 2247. Right down there. Now, you can't get to it because it's on the Fox lot. But that's where Michael Jackson had a secret condo. Right in there. I guess he would park here, or they'd park for him. Or there's an entrance just off of uh, another road down there, Fox Hills Drive. And I guess that's where they would come in. Not exactly sure. You can see part of the building, but it's an employee entrance there. I'm not an employee of Fox yet. So, on my little Michael Jackson tour, that is the hideout. What went on in that place? I don't know. They called it the hideout for a reason. But when he wanted to be, when he was in Los Angeles, when he wanted to escape his uh, family, the media, right there. There's a lot of security to get into that little area right there. I can't even get close to it. But the hideout, Michael Jackson, Century City, right there. That's the whole Fox lot. 20th Century Fox Studios is all here. Michael Jackson had a condo on the lot. Who knew? It's right in there, but I can't get in there. Well, I'll show you something else that's pretty cool. Well done. Very, very windy. I hope you can hear me. I'm now at Michael Jackson's other condo. He's had like three or four condos. There's one in Encino, which is far that way. But this is his Westwood condo right here. This was not a secret hideout. Oh, it's chilly. And I don't know the apartment number. I did know the one for the hideout, which is weird. That one's so hard to find. It's a really secretive one. And yeah, I know the condo number, but for this one, which isn't really secretive, I don't know the condo number. I don't understand that. Anyways, there it is behind me. Ooh. It's a nice building, nothing special, but the King of Pop had property all over the place. And I guess he just wanted a little uh, apartment in Westwood. I wonder which one it was. baby dangling, that's Michael's. So there it is, Michael Jackson's Westwood condo apartment. Condo apartment, is that a double, I don't know. Anyways, there's a lot of traffic on the street. So I'm gonna go show you something cool, but there's not a lot of traffic, I'm sure, right now. I hope this isn't too windy. If it is, I'm sorry. That's it. Michael Jackson tour. I'm showing you every place he owned, except Neverland. Not getting up there for a while. Hmm, what do you think of that? That's pretty cool. Right? That's some free, that's some, that's some fuck, that's some fuck job shit. This camera didn't break just now. Woo wee! So after Michael Jackson's house was, his Neverland Ranch was raided and he said he would never go back there, he rented out a place here in Beverly Hills on Shadow Hills Lane Way, something like that. And the driveway's right here. It's very, very exclusive, hard to get to that, even, even to get to the right driveway because there's a bunch of houses clustered behind one driveway. But I'm gonna show you something pretty cool. Uh, there's that phrase again around uh, the corner that you can see of the house. But also check out this view. It's a pretty 
pretty amazing view that uh, Michael Jackson had. His house is right over there. The house that he rented after Neverland was raided. Right but I'll show you something that I can see of the house. Can you give me that driveway that he had to go in? Whether that one or that one. I'm telling you, on the hunt for Michael Jackson houses, aside from the main ones, they're not easy to find. But I'm taking you there, close as we can get. And as you see, not a lot of people on these streets. Nothing going on. But beautiful, beautiful houses, I'll tell you that. I could do with this. I could live here. Let's take a picture of this. Look at these. Neato. All right, I'm gonna show you around back. Yeah. Mm. It's very cold up, up in up in the Beverly Hills. Now, I just took you to uh, Michael Jackson's house that he rented after the Neverland uh, raid, but you couldn't really see it, right? I only couldn't even tell which driver it was. But what I can show you, something very cool, part of his house, the most important part of any house, we all have one in our backyards. Are you ready for this? Michael Jackson's tennis boards, right there. You think he played? I cannot imagine Michael Jackson playing tennis. Hee 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 hee. 15 love. Okay. Not a great joke. Moon walking up and down there, right there. Michael Jackson. Probably practice the dance moves when it's a little warmer. Oh, yeah, look at that house beside it. That's, uh, oh, oh, that's sweet. But yeah, Michael Jackson's tennis course right there. And you can see part of like some brick structure there. But the house goes right past it. Oh, you can see part of the house right there. There we go. I guess that's the tennis uh, change room where they were changing to his little uh, white shorts to play tennis. Right across from a uh, beautiful park. I was here the other day hanging out. I don't know what's going on down here. The orange trees grow. Orange plants. Where oranges grow. Look, I'm not a scientist. All right, there. Michael Jackson tennis courts. Boom. Oh, let's see what it says. Fruit being picked by food forward. There you go. As I've stated repeatedly. Yeah, it's getting a little chilly, but I'm gonna take you to a last uh, little location here from Michael Jackson Housing. The Michael, Housing, Michael Jackson Housing Development Corporation. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna take you. I've been to this place many, many, many times. I always drive by it, but I like seeing it. You're gonna like seeing it too. And it's on one of my older videos, I think. But I filmed it that way. So kind of film it the right way. Let's go. Alright, and to finish it up, right here beside me, this is the house that Michael Jackson was renting for one hundred thousand dollars a month when he passed away. Right there. I'll even show you the bedroom window and the driveway where they took him out. And you know whose house is right across the street? Remember Michael Jackson was married to Lisa Marie Presley? Well, look right here. That house belonged to Elvis Presley. I don't know, what do you think? You think that's why he chose this house? He was, called himself the king of pop. Elvis was the king, he married his daughter. We all know how that went. So there's Elvis's house, and there's Michael's house. Elvis, whoa, Michael, pretty cool. Stop saying pretty cool. All right, let's see the bedroom window. There you go, the famous house on Carrollwood Drive in Beverly Hills. That's the bedroom up there where Michael Jackson sadly passed away. And now I will show you the driveway where the ambulances took him out of. That's not it. There's a pool back there. Take a look on Google Maps. It's a beautiful big home. It now rents, I think maybe somebody bought it, but it was renting for $300,000 a month after he died. 100,000 while he lived there, 300,000 afterwards. 
He was preparing for uh, the This Is It world tour. All the kids were living with him there. Very sad. Here is the driveway where they took Michael out of. Where all the famous shots were of the paparazzi clamoring for that one million dollar photograph. And somebody got it. There's the driveway. Sad. I'm turning around in Michael Jackson's driveway. Oh boy. I can't even tell if there's a car behind me or not. Oh well, I gotta get out of here. I got places to be. Bye, Michael.